Hey guys, Winless Titan here. Welcome back to my, another video. And today, we're going to be reviewing the third largest LEGO set ever at the time of filming this video. The LEGO Titanic. Box is so big I can't have to pick up my tripod to fit in the frame. Like, it's absolutely massive. Here's my hand for scale. The front of the box shows the Titanic and with a nice gold glow in the background. There it says Titanic there. Got some dimensions just there. 44 centimetres, 135 centimetres long, 44 centimetres tall. About 16 centimetres wide. It's recommended for ages 18 and up. It's set number 10294 and it has 9,090 pieces. The bottom and the Bottom edge of these box. Oh, bottom edge of that. I'm keeping that in. Bottom edge of that box. The, the the box is just entirely gold greebling, which I think looks really nice. The top of the box, you just have the Titanic with the same gold background. You have um the anchor, the central anchor crane there for n one to one scale just to give you a sense of scale of the set. Just got another Lego logo with Titanic, aka... Ah! Sorry, this keeps flipping around. Titanic, Le Titanic, Titanics. Um, so out of the box, you just get another view of the ship. I'm sorry if it keeps flipping around. It's just annoying. The back of the box, you see um, the back of the ship with a couple of little details on the set and on the side of the box you just have the stone upon opening the box you have um, some nice wireframe art of the Titanic open it up further get rid of these you have three inner boxes which look really cool and as you can see when you take the inner boxes out you've got some more wireframe art of the set or of that section you're building and when you take them all out together you get this really cool wireframe art on the other side you have the same thing. Here are the instructions. And in the front of each... Ah, keeps flipping. Sorry. Um, but in the front of each instructions, you get a little bit of information about the set. And you do get little snippets along the set as well. Let's see if I can find one of them. Like, uh, come on. Uh, yeah, that's what the instructions look like inside, by the way. You've got um, lots of little details. Like, for example, here. It says Titanic was fitted with three anchors, one on each side and the heaviest in the centre. And that was the heaviest anchor ever forged by that date, weighing 16 tonnes. So, you get the same thing in each of the instruction books, like for example this one. It, This one talks about the um, fact that uh, there wasn't, there was um, not enough people, uh, not enough lifeboats for, peop for the people on board, because lifeboats were many thought as a means to, like, ferry passengers from one ship to rescue ship. Anyways, let's have a look at the actual set, shall we? And here it is, the Lego Titanic in all of its glory. Literally so big that I can only just fit it in one frame. Wow. There is so many details on the set. So let's start at the bow, or the front of the ship. So, 
at the bow we have um the three anchors which are represented by little sausages and clip piece here it's a sausage and a robot arm you have the pilot's jack this was removed before her voyage the main cargo door this is the anchor used to um raise the central anchor which is just here over overboard so that they could lower the anchor you have two more cargo doors and some little cargo cranes this is the foremast and this US flag here has the correct amount of stars well done Lego um, there's the bow and the well deck well technically you build this in six sections so that's the first section well the second section you build is part is the end of the bow section there is uh, well, let's go on until here and as you can actually see there's two big old seams in the set I'll show you what they do in a second the funnels are really well done um, I really like the bright yellow colour really contrasts with the tan the bridge is quite good it's missing two of the windows but yeah, I'll be fine but if if you want me to be really nitpicky, I, I'd rather Lego just like remove this air vent because it was never there, and to move that air vent to the bow where there was an air vent. Here we also see the start of the A deck screen of windows. We have eight of the twenty lifeboats there, and these little baguette things represent um, collapsible lifeboats A and B. There is two extra um, uh, cutter lifeboats here and here, but they aren't represented in the set, sadly. They represent the stairs and the portholes really well in the set. That name Titanic there is printed. There is no stickers in the set. All of the portholes in this black section are represented by black minifigure neck braces. There's 284 of them in the set. So um, be prepared for some repetitive... Ah, I can't pronounce it. Repetitivity. There we go. Something like that. Um, you also get lots of um, these windows here, which are also very repetitive. Carrying on, you have the... Um, uh, you have the Grand Staircase Skylight. The second funnel and the first of a few different benches in the set they look really good same with these stairs how they managed to hide the top ha uh, half of the um, cheese grater pieces you've got some handlebar pieces used for the railings and there's the central compass stand the third funnel um, is by the side of two benches. There's another one by there. You have a set back to a classic 80s space theme. An extra eight of the lifeboats. The aft um, grand staircase skylight with a few more um, benches. The fourth funnel, which was never actually functional. It never um, poured out smoke from the boilers. Um... This is the second class entrance, um, and we taper down, we have the aft mast, with lots more cargo cranes, cargo doors and stairs, back in, down to, into the aft well deck. We have the propellers here, and the rudder, which can turn. The propellers can also turn, which correspond to something inside the ship, which I will show you in a second. This uh, this is the poop deck. Um, it um, it's more cargo cranes here, more benches, more rare vents. The um, the blue ensign and the uh, and this is the docking bridge, uh, which makes docking the ship a lot easier. This uh, gear here 
if I turn it, adjust the tension between the masts. Well, adjust the tension line between the masts, which is really good. When you do... All of these exterior details, by the way, are beautiful. I love them. There are so many little details. The A-deck promenade's done really well. The B-deck... Um, B-deck, even though the windows aren't exactly in the right place, they're fine. C-deck, really good. They've got, like, pretty much all the decks here. Like, boat deck, A-deck, B-deck, C-deck, D-deck, E-deck, F-deck, F-deck, all up deck of the tank top. Now let's have a look inside the ship. So how this works is if you disconnect this bit of string here, and pull upon this, this little lollipop thing, you can move entire sections of the ship from each other to reveal this really nice micro scale interior. Working from the bottom you have some boilers which look really good, the pool, a couple of rooms, even more rooms, a couple of more state rooms and cabins. You have the top of the first class ground staircase here. This um, this compass is probably meant to represent a clock. On the other side, we have um, our we have um the other side of the boiler room with the coal bunker. The swimming pool aligns with that bit of swimming pool there. Even more rooms where it will eventually connect with that top bit there. The same thing can be done right here, where if you remove this bit, you can remove the middle section from the aft section. There we go. Now as you can see here, you've got engines. Oh, by the way, here we've got just more rooms. That's it, really. A couple of checker patterns. But here is where the money's at. You've got more rooms here, by the way. Uh, they all look really nice. But this is where the money's at. You see, these aren't just regular Lego Technic engines. These are all custom. And when you turn the engines, as you can see, the pistons are whirring. The propellers move, which is really cool. That's the interior of the Lego Titanic. Now for my final thoughts, and a couple of little Easter eggs. So as you can see here as an Easter egg, there's this little, little piece that says TC. It's used in the Haunted House, uh, 2020 Haunted House set. Um, it's meant to mean Tiago Caterino. If you want to know more about this piece, just go to his channel and watch his video. The set also comes with a um, little display stand, which I forgot to say. They use the pieces from the typewriter in this. Which you can just put right there. Right, time for my final thoughts. And would I recommend this set? Uh, firstly, this set is great. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Um, whether you want to buy this set, uh, or ask for it or something, for like a birthday or Christmas present, um... This it set is really good. Um, if you really like Titanic, this is exactly the set for you. Uh, it is a challenge. It is a really challenging yet rewarding build. Um, the set is a bit repetitive, but um, we can. But looking besides that, it is beautiful when it's finished. Um, yeah, if you really want to if you have the time money space for it i would recommend and also if you're just um relatively interested in this ship it would also um be good to have a look at it and there's my review so um make sure to leave a like subscribe um check out some of my other videos and i'll see you next time this is Willis titan signing off